You ever heard the saying, never rob a bank across from a diner that has the best donuts in three counties? That's not a saying. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I get never what you're saying, it. Maybe but you it's not heard. a saying. It is a saying. Okay. It's a saying now. Go! Everybody sit down on the floor. Fire in the hole! Let's go, come on! How much you figure? 40 million. 40 million dollars? But I got bad news for you. What is that? Is that a badge in your hand? DEA. I gotta tell you, I've always been fascinated I with I slapped people. this dude in the face before. Listen, don't look at me, don't look at me like that. Turn the other cheek, man. Word. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's good. He did. He, he said some me. real off the wall. For real? Shit to For me. real. Yeah, he it said had some bite to it. Wall shit to me. And I heard you talked about that interview the entire PA tour. Yeah. That worked out well for me. I smacked him in the face. Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess I, I've always uh, I've always been fascinated with people that go undercover because you know they have the pressure of knowing that if they if their performance isn't good, their life can be on the line. So I was wondering, you know, in, in the grand scheme of that, what's the most pressure you've ever felt to get a role right? Playing Malcolm X. Why is that? Why particularly that one? Because people said, if you didn't, we'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Wow. I can, I can understand that. Yeah. And, 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 and cry freedom uh, playing Stephen Biko because we couldn't go to South Africa. And they said if, we, if I stepped foot in South Africa, they'd kill me. But we also had a lot of death threats and all that kind of stuff uh, in, 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 in Zimbabwe and had tons of security and all that. Mr. Wahlberg, any, any pressure you felt? Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, Bill, well, just recently, the last movie that I that I filmed, uh, Marcus Luttrell, uh, Lone Survivor, you know, the worst tragedy in the history of the Navy SEALs. So portraying him and his team guys uh, that didn't make it off that mountain, and knowing that how much it meant to their families. Uh, and their loved ones, certainly a lot of pressure, but you know. It's an amazing book. But, but also a lot of support. So, uh, you know, you couldn't be up there complaining knowing that you would walk off that mountain and go back to your comfy hotel room and get a good night's sleep, mm -hmm. sure. considering what those guys went through. So Absolutely. that was a huge amount of pressure. For sure. Well, guys, I'm already thinking sequel. I know this is going to be a success. I'm thinking three guns. I want to be the third gun. Third guy. So we could just slap him around. Yeah, slap I can him do that. Love it. I was wondering, what, what do I need to do? What are some tips you can give me? Some audition process? Why don't we practice now? Okay, let's do this. <laughs> this is how it started. No, I'm telling you. Dude, this is how it started. And then it was like, no, really? Yeah, no, 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 slap oh, really? <laughs> that's how it went. That's, that's why you didn't reach that far over here. I noticed that. You kind of gave it that. but you didn't. There, there's like a, there's a light in your eyes. I uh, saw that. I thought I was like, he's, he's, he's man too. And there's a little mark after that. So that's it. Just, just, just you guys are gonna slap me around, and that's three guns. That's it. You heard it here. Oh. Jay Hamilton. I want my name right there on the top. Above and, us? And you're going to earn it. I, yes. <laughs> yes I, they're going to say, look, look how method he, he said, went. Wow, above, above us. Right. He went right for the He went top. right yeah. for the You guys are lucky enough to be in a position in which you can pretty much pick and choose any role you want. But you know, I'm always sitting across from actors that always tell me why they chose a role. But I've always been curious, what are the reasons in which you turn down roles? There's never one reason, you know. I mean... It's never one reason. You know, I don't want to play an alcoholic pilot right now. Right. You know, I mean, cause something that, you know, you're trying to do n new and fresh things, mm -hmm. but uh, it just depends. Variety of stuff? Yeah. Yeah, it depends on the particular situation. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's usually after you've done something, then they offer you something very yeah, similar. Exactly. And then they expect exactly. you to be like, yeah. you know, oh yeah, I want to do that. Well, yeah. why don't I just, you know. But you guys are accepting three guns because. Yeah, to this, work with you, just is it. Yep. But you don't get paid, though. I barely get paid for this. What are you talking about? Ow! Uh, Ow. You take a back no, I'll do this for free because it's an right. honor for All me, right. man. Guys. Take a back end kicker. I'll, there I'll you take go. it. Guys, it's net. always an honor to sit across from you guys. That's I'll, where the real I'll money get. Net. Oh, yes. I'm in. I'm in. I'll take the neck. Adjusted net. Petty Officer Michael Stigman. You know Bobby Beans was DEA? Man, your boy Stig's a piece of work. Did you know he was Special Forces? You've been on this limp way too long. Right. On the count of three, we'll let each other go. All right. One, yeah. two, three. I ain't making me not be able to trust you. Yeah, okay. You know how to butter one up. I do. It's all downhill from there, really. Yeah, it's just okay. all, it's all, you know. All right. It's all just me staring awkwardly and breathing heavily. This is Jake Hamilton <laughs> with KRIV Fox Houston. You have to be. Miss Pat. Yes. Uh, on behalf of all men around the planet, I'd like to thank you for getting naked in this movie. <laughs> It's awesome. Um, so uh, there's a way to start an interview. Here so, you go. 
In, in all seriousness, there's been a lot of talk about the fact that the, your incredibly talented husband, Robin, uh, Robin Thicke, yes. has that, the music video in which the girls are topless. Yes. That. Is there a conversation to be had, like if someone's gonna like, like you know, like, hey, we're gonna have this, or like, hey, I may get topless Absolutely. in the movie. Is it an awkward conversation? No, not with us, because we're partners in crime, you right. know, and we're partners in art. And, right. and the night before I had to do that scene, it was a revelation I had. I just was, well, I had been thinking about it for a while, but then I thought, it just doesn't seem natural for this woman who's been lovers with this man for quite a while, and this conversation happens after they've been together, um, right afterwards, right. then she'd have a shirt on, do you right. know? And so I just thought it just, I, I thought I shouldn't have right. one on. And um, I told, I, I called Rob, I'm like, what do you think? And he's like, absolutely, go for it. Have so, you ever turned down nudity, like, just like, you know what, this doesn't feel right, you know, I don't think I'm gonna do this? You know, I've never been like, it's not been about nudity, but perhaps something's been a little bit too risque for me, right. and it just doesn't feel natural and right for right. me to do. And it was natural in this. Oh, well, thank See? you. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't gratuitous, I, I promise, but it's okay. awesome. <laughs> um, you know, I, uh, one of the things I love about all the characters in this movie, they're, they're, they're characters that you have to take a second glance at. They're like, yes. you know what, I don't really know what's going on there. You've been in so many incredible films. What is a film that like maybe came out, didn't do as well as you wanted it to, but you'd like people to give it a second chance, just to just to maybe check it out one more time? Uh, gosh, you know, I, I think Disconnect. I really love that That's movie. That's a great movie. And I just think it had such an, uh, just, it revealed so much about the, the world we're living in now. Right. And so it, it was an indie movie, so it didn't probably reach as many people, but I would have liked for more right. people to have seen it. Netflix, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, I uh, you know I, I, I always tell you how beautiful you are, and you know, that's, that's, that's gotta be a great thing in this business. So I was wondering, is there ever a downside to being beautiful in this business? Is there ever one of those things where it's like, you know what, they're not gonna give me a role because of this or that? God, if I only saw myself through your eyes. <laughs> Trust me, it's awesome. <laughs> I said, I want, can you give it to me? <laughs> um, you know what, I don't think like that because I don't walk around feeling that way. Right. Okay. Fair enough. I totally understand it's the truth. that. So, uh, you know, I'm thinking of I'm trying to find a, a woman like you to, you know, one day possibly settle down with. What did Mr. Thick do right? To like, what, what tips do you think he did right that he would give me if I could, you know? Perseverance. Perseverance. <laughs> yes. Good to know. Good to know. I'm writing these things down. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> no, no, no. He's, gosh, you know, it, he really loves and respects women, and and he makes me laugh and. He cares deeply for me. He's been like my biggest supporter. I wouldn't be an actress today if it wasn't for his support. So I just think, you know, when you do find that right person, don't hold back. Give them all the love and support they need. I am so screwed. I'm never, I'm never going to be able to figure this out. I always love talking to you. You're so fantastic. Oh, Take care. So Have much. a good day. See you, later. Right. See you later. Bye. Guys. Bye. Right, thank you. The bank was a setup. We gotta figure out whose money that was. Well, like we're working together? No, not like we're working. Yeah. No, like we're working in the same vicinity. Together. In the same area code. Together. He ripped off the CIA. Where's the money? It ain't down there, I can guarantee you that. But I want to tell you, I love you in this movie, and, and I love one of the things your character does. He repeats the uh, the Russian roulette thing over. You know, it's kind of that, that's like his signature thing. I was wondering, as an actor, obviously you don't want to repeat yourself over and over. But is it ever beneficial to have like a thing that that you do over and over again? No, each one's built mm -hmm. to measure. You know, custom built. You know, you're always using some facet of yourself. But um, this was particularly fun because it was broad and theatrical. And I, I could have some fun with. You seem to be having fun. You seem to be having a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, it, also it works as a good device because you've seen the the you know you've seen what happens exactly. when the gun goes off. Yes. So then when I pull it on on, on Denzel, you know what's coming. Exactly. And you know and that, that if you can that stand adds, up to that it. That adds a little. Yeah. That adds a little. I think uh, suspense to the scene. For sure. Yeah. Now you're one of those actors. Whenever I tell my buddies I'm going to interview you, they all they're like, "Oh, you got to talk to him about this." You got there. Yeah. There are ten thousand different movies they all wanted me to talk to you about, which I think is a testament to you as an actor. So I was curious, what is the movie that most people come up to me? They're like, "Bill, I loved you in this." Uh, it, it's different ones, but um, I tell you one that never seems to go out of style, and it, it's not my performance in the movie, but it's the movie. Mm -hmm. Uh, is Tombstone. Yes. People love it. This is a modern Western. I would say this, this kind of has a Western feel a Western to it. Feel, yeah. Very much so. In fact, uh, speaking of Doc Holliday, I just saw Val Kilmer do his one-man show of Mark Twain. How was that? It was phenomenal. Was that out in L.A.? Phenomenal. I would have killed to have He's seen that. He's trying to bring it to New York, and uh, 
but uh, it was great. I hadn't seen Val in a while. I went backstage, and, and it was really cool. That'd be cool with you guys running into each other again. Yeah, That'd was, be pretty it incredible. It was a lot of fun, because I think all of us who did Tombstone feel a, that was kind of a special. There must be some kind of way out of here. You got 24 hours to bring me the money. Say the joker to the thief. Yeah. So, partner. What's your plan? Well, I got a plan. I mean, I'm capable of coming up with a plan. I'm not capable. I'm just saying you haven't told me. What is it? I'm working on it. Yeah, screw it. What's your plan? No one expected. You should have seen your face. You sure you can trust this guy? <laughs> Who are they? Well, yesterday I said they were my family. Today they kind of want to kill me. Yeah, I understand the feeling. <laughs> What I ever do to you, besides shoot me? Three times over. Have I properly incentivized you? More than you know. Make it rain. You're my people and there's a code. You fight for the guy that's fighting next to you. Give me the keys. You want them? Come get them. Oh, man! What was I called for? Give me the keys. You saw that move coming? That's correct. Give me the keys. <laughs> <laughs>